Hi, welcome to this CoFence demo video, disrupting phishing attacks using CoFence triage and CoFence vision. During this demo, we'll work to a particular story, and that is the phishing campaign that is sent to 30 recipients, and each recipient of that email has a unique sender and subject. Every email in the campaign delivers a consistent payload, which in this case is a malicious ISO file. A recipient receives the email in the Outlook app on their iPhone, and the email is reported using CoFence Reporter for mobile. Now, a number of other users have received that email and reported it, and the cluster is viewed in CoFence Triage. Within Triage, a threat hunting action is undertaken using the integration with CoFence Vision. All recipients of the campaign are identified, and the emails are quarantined directly from the CoFence Triage user interface. So we have three windows within the demo. We have an Outlook client at the top. We have the Outlook app on the iOS device on the right hand side, and we have the triage dashboard at the bottom. So we can see here that the email has been received into the uh, iPhone, and we can see the email being received into the second mailbox that is accessed using the Outlook client. So we're going to take a look at the email within the iPhone and we'll click on that email to view it. And we can see that it's coming from perhaps from a sender that we don't know about. Uh, it's got an attachment that we're not sure about. Big rewards dot, dot ISO looks a little suspicious uh, to me. And the text um, looks somewhat uh, unusual with a few spelling mistakes and, and signed off from your friend. So I'm going to report this email as, as phishing using CoFence Reporter for mobile. And I'm going to click OK. And that email then gets packaged up and sent across to my security operations team where they can take a look at that. So I'm now going to take a look into CoFence Triage, and I've refreshed the dashboard here, and I can see up in the top left of the active clusters view is we've got a new cluster in here. It's got a priority of five, and it's got four reports within it. So I'm going to drill into that particular cluster, and here I can see the email that I've just reported at the top, and I can also see within this view there are a number of other emails that have also been reported by other users. And I can see that each one of those emails has got a different sender address and has got a different subject line. But Triage has clustered those together because they have a consistent threat payload or a consistent threat fingerprint, which in this case is the bigrewards.iso attachment file. So what I want to do here is I feel that this could be suspicious. I want to reduce the exposure time in the organization. So I want to understand, well, who else has received this email? So I can now create the vision search within triage, and I'm looking for that big rewards.iso file based on the, the attachment hash that we've seen there. I've submitted that search, and you can see we got the results back from that search in about two and a half seconds. So, so much, much faster than sending that request off to a mail team, much, much faster than using something like a, a PowerShell script here. And I can see every one of the emails that have been uh, discovered using that vision search has got a unique sender and a unique subject line. But vision has been able to basically build the triage cluster within, via, within vision and has been able to identify all recipients of that particular threat campaign. So I'm going to select all those recipients and I'm going to click quarantine. And I'll be given a dialog box here to say, yes, I do want to quarantine these, these emails. And we can now, if we take a look at the Outlook app at the top here, the Outlook client. Take a look at the email in the inbox there. We'll see very, very shortly that that email will disappear from the inbox uh, due to the quarantine action that's been undertaken within triage. So there we are, the message has, has disappeared. Now, if we update the, the vision results within the, uh, the vision user interface, we can then see that the, all of the emails within that particular search have all been quarantined and we can see that from the quarantine icon uh, on the right hand side.